Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Sorry for the delay in uploading this tutorial, and not responding to your comments. I am working on a film project, so facing some problems in working on new videos. Anyway, in this tutorial, we are going to create this. And let me know in the comments if you can feel this stereo sound. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Flat Transition. As always, I am using 1920 by 1080 resolutions, at 30 frames per second. Now create a new solid. I am calling it Slider 01. I am using yellow color for this slide. You are free to choose any color you want and then hit OK. Now press Y to select the Anchor Point tool. And place this anchor point to the bottom left corner, press and hold Ctrl key to snip it to the edge perfectly. Now, press S to open scale, and change the scale size to 250. If you zoom out your project window, you will get this similar shape. Now press R to open rotation and add a keyframe on it. Change the rotation angle to negative 94. And the layer will be outside from the project window. Now go to around 2 seconds, and change the rotation value to 94. Our basic setup is done. We will place more layers above this layer. Now select both keyframes, and press F9 to easy ease them. Open Graph Editor and change the graph curve to something like this. I am keeping the curve same as before, switch back to the timeline again. Let's trim our comp playback area to the 3 seconds to save some time in playback. RAM preview this, and now you have this nice looking animation. Perfect. In case you think your animation is slow, just drag your end keyframe to the left. And the speed will be increase. Cool. I like this speed. Let's add few more layers to complete our animation. Select your layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. We are going to place it after few frames gap. Press plus key to zoom into your timeline. Now I can see every fifth frame of my timeline. I am keeping 10 frames gap between the playback time of each layer. Cool, let's go to the something like here, and change the color of this layer. Go to layers, and select solid settings. Click on this color box and change to color to something green color. Perfect. You can use any color you want. I am just showing you the way, destiny is yours. Repeat the same step for the next two slides as well. Make a duplicate of your layer, and then place it after another 10 frames gap. Change the color of this layer as well. We are just repeating same steps here. You are free to add many layers as you want. I am going with 4 layers only. Let's speed up this process to save some of your time. Perfect. Now our transition animation is complete. Let's add drop shadow to all of these layers to separate them from each other. Right click on any layer, then go to the layer styles, and choose drop shadow. Open this drop shadow style by clicking on this arrow, and change size to 20. Also, change opacity to 30. Now, select this layer styles, and press Ctrl plus C to copy it. 
Select bottom layer and press Ctrl plus V to paste the same layer style on it. Paste this layer style on all other layers as well. I am pasting it on the top layer as well. Select your layer, and press Ctrl plus V to paste it. Ram preview this, and you are good to go. You can render this in PNG format, to use it on above of other videos. Check description below to know how to render it. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a nice day.